The Oak Ridge Boys have sold over 41 million records. That's a lot of records. 37 top 20 country hits, including number ones like Elvira and American Made. They have won so many awards. If I started listing them, I'd never get around to even getting to talk to them. And to top it off, they are some of the nicest and most genuinely humble people in the entertainment business. But all great things must come to an end, and they are currently on their 50th anniversary American Made Farewell Tour. We are thrilled that they've made time to visit us. I want you to welcome William Lee Golden, Richard Sturban, Dwayne Allen, and stepping in for Joe Bonsall, Benjamin James. They are, truly are America's band. Yeah. You know them as the Oak Ridge Boys. Thank Give them you. a great welcome. You know, it's great having you guys here. I miss Joe, and uh, I know Joe's had some health issues, had to retire last year. Benjamin, you jumped in the middle of the greatest band in this country, the Oak Ridge Boys. What were you thinking when they called you and said, would you join the band? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good answer. It's a great answer. Dwayne, when, when you guys all got this started and... 1973 was when the four of you really started and stayed together. That's unbelievable in the entertainment business. Did you ever envision that you would still be doing this 50 years later? I didn't envision it even when I joined the group in 66. Yeah. And in, uh, let's see, next month will be 58 years for me. Wow. And I wouldn't, I don't regret one minute of it. 58 years. Yeah. And William Lee was here when I came. What year did you start? I joined in the first part of 1965. Wow. Yeah. So, Richard, you're the young uh, whippersnapper <laughs> in the band. Is... Uh, <laughs> the, the newest old guy. Let's put it that way. <laughs> what year did you join the Oaks? 1972. 72. Yes. Wow. I mean, you, all of us have grown up with your music, and I think more than that, the extraordinary sense of connection that you have had to this country. And you represent country music, but also, I think, just great music and something that Americans can cherish. I think we're very fortunate that we live in Hendersonville, Tennessee, which we're very fortunate, too, that my Huckabee has chosen to come right to our hometown to do his great show. Aren't you, aren't you happy about that? Yeah. Mike Huckabee is happy about that too. <laughs> this, is, this is five minutes from my house, you know? Here, now put on your shirt and come down and do the show. Yeah, anytime, Mike. Uh, but I think another thing is we live just, you know, 23 minutes from Music City, USA. Mm -hmm where all of the greatest songwriters in the world live and work. Of course, Nashville is so spread out now. It, it includes Hendersonville. And we have a lot of recording studios right here in Hendersonville. They're scattered all over this part of the country. People are writing in every nook and cranny all around Nashville and surrounding areas. We are fortunate that we have access to all those great writers, mm. and they've written our career for us. None of us really write that many songs, but we go to the greatest writers in the world down on Music Row, and they write songs for the Oak Ridge. We can tell them, we just got through recording a new album, <laughs> and we, we told them we, we want this album to be about mom, mama's boys. Mm. What mama I taught us yeah. about love, life, living, about God, about our faith. And we got some of the greatest songs about mama's boys and what she taught us, I think I've ever heard. Well, your music is timeless. It's not like it's music that sounds old. It still sounds fresh and you deliver it always. Every concert, it's like you're giving it your very best 100%. Richard, in this incredible career you guys have had, is there a moment, one of those moments that just sticks out for you is that signature time when you say, my goodness, I can't believe I got to do this. There are so many moments. It's sometimes difficult to pick one. But if you 
push me to the point where I had to pick one. That's what I'm doing. Yes, I, yeah. I had figured you were doing that. Uh, I'd have to say being inducted into the Country Music Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. You know, if you sing. <laughs> Richly deserved, members of the Grand Ole Opry. That's a close second right there, the yeah. Grand Ole Opry, yeah. And, you know, Country Hall of Fame, uh, Gospel Hall of Fame. There's not many awards you haven't had, but I think probably the biggest thing that ever happened to the Oak Ridge Boys, you came to the Huckabee Show here. <laughs> that, that is the moment. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, I hope you will now. The button is just below this video and there's a little bell next to it. If you click on those, YouTube will reluctantly start letting you know when we've got a new video uploaded.